One of the biggest challenges we face as humans is the constant mental chatter that dominates much of our waking lives. Studies suggest we spend anywhere from a third to half of our day distracted, not fully present. During this time, what are we doing? We're talking to ourselves. This inner dialogue allows us to silently reflect and make sense of our experiences. It's a powerful tool, but it has a downside. When our inner voice spirals into chatter, things can take a negative turn. Instead of solving problems, we often end up dwelling on them, worrying, or imagining worst-case scenarios. It's easy to get stuck in this loop, where our inner dialogue becomes more of a burden than a benefit. My name is Jamie Summers, and while I'm not a psychologist, I've always been fascinated by how our minds work, especially how our thoughts can either help or hinder us. For many, this inner voice is a double-edged sword. There's evidence suggesting that our ability to talk to ourselves has evolutionary roots. Language helps us not only communicate with others, but also internally, providing us with a survival advantage. Our inner voice is a powerful problem-solving tool. It's part of what's known as our verbal working memory system, which allows us to keep verbal information active in our minds. It helps us rehearse and plan. For example, before an important presentation, I'll go over my points in my head, anticipating questions and formulating responses. That's my inner voice working to prepare me. It's also key in moments of self-control. Think about the last time you almost indulged in something unhealthy late at night, but stopped yourself, thinking, you'll regret this later. That's your inner voice guiding you. On a deeper level, this internal dialogue helps us create narratives about our lives, shaping how we understand ourselves and the world. But when it turns into chatter, it can become overwhelming. Chatter distracts us, making it hard to focus. It consumes our attention and pulls us away from being fully present. It can also affect our relationships as we become so wrapped up in our own problems that we struggle to listen to others or engage meaningfully. This constant mental noise can even lead to frustration and irritability, often directed at those closest to us, a phenomenon known as displaced aggression. What's even more alarming is how chatter can impact our physical health. You've probably heard that stress can be harmful, in truth, stress is an adaptive response meant to help us deal with challenges. The real problem arises when stress lingers. Chatter has a way of keeping stress alive long after the initial trigger is gone. We keep replaying stressful events in our minds, preventing our bodies from returning to a state of calm. Over time, this chronic stress can lead to serious health issues like heart disease, inflammation, and even cancer. The effects of unchecked chatter can be profound. But here's the good news. There are practical, science-backed tools that can help us manage it. From individual techniques, to social support, to changing our environment, there are several ways we can take back control of our inner dialogue. One powerful strategy is the use of rituals. When chatter makes us feel out of control, rituals give us structure and order. These repetitive, purposeful actions help create a sense of stability. A famous example is tennis champion Rafael Nadal, who follows a strict ritual during matches. Between games, he takes a sip from one water bottle, then another, and carefully places them back in the exact same spot. It may seem simple, but this routine helps him stay mentally focused 
and manage the chatter in his head during high-pressure moments. Of course, not every tool works for everyone. The key is to find what combination of techniques works best for you. Dealing with chatter doesn't make you weak. It makes you human. So if you've ever found yourself lost in thought, stuck in a mental loop, welcome to the club. It's part of the human experience, and fortunately, there are ways to handle it. As we wrap up today's video, remember that mastering your mind is a journey, not a destination. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to Inside Serene, your go-to channel for mental fitness and inner peace. Stay tuned for more tips, tools, and insights to help you strengthen your mind and live a calmer, more intentional life. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.